Let's go with refrain mode because I don't care about the two other characters or bad guys. Hold on. Uh, you know, this story is as it was originally played to recommend first time players. The post date events for Jones. Uh, recommend for players have played the original mode. I do like party members. Right. Let's go standard. Yep. It's the enemy! They're coming! We're under attack! It's an elf! A dragon ear! All soldiers to the front gate! Go! Hurry! Looks like she got their attention. That should leave this area clear. Right on time, too. I suppose she's never been one for half measures, but now it's our turn. Our target's on this floor. He should be trapped in a cell in the furthest part of the lab. We find him and save him. Yes, my lady. I want everyone coming back in one piece. Move out. Our mission starts now. Okay. Yeah, this should be easy because I'll play the demo on the Switch. Right, up down, that's good. Okay, so triangle is the map. Okay. The target should be just ahead. You there? Should have figured it wouldn't be that easy. Oh well. Who are you? State your business. Would you believe I'm here to rescue a princess? I guess you don't care. In any case, I owe you an introduction. I am Sonia Blanche, a sworn knight of Astoria. An Astorian? Breach! There's been a breach! Unfortunately for you, I'm in a hurry, so I won't be holding back. Here I come! Set. No attack circle, trying to perform breach. Do do. Stuff, I'm gonna go fight some more. Get ready! Here they come! Yeah! Yes! We did it! Wow, well that's, what's that trophy for? So I can't go that way. I was like, it's my speed ramp swallowed down the tutorial.
This is it. If our information's right, he should be in here. What? How cruel! I'm here to help! Are you Yuma Ilvern? Yes, that's me. I'm Sonya, a knight of Astoria. I'm here to break you out. Just follow me. Huh? Come on! We need to escape before the guards arrive! <clears throat> escape? Escape to where? I... I have nowhere to go. Do you want to stay here? Well, of course not. But... Then follow me. We just need to make it out and you're free. <clears throat> you can go anywhere you want. Come on, let's go. I... uh... all right. There she is! That's the Astoria Knight! There's more of them than I thought. So much for slipping out the main gate. Okay, change your plan. Milady. Good timing. Looks like we're going with plan B for the escape. This way. No. We'll hold the line here. You get to safe ground. What? No. Then all of you would... We'll be fine. We survived your training, didn't we? A handful of Imperials aren't gonna take us out. Fine. Do me proud, everyone. Um... Don't worry, it'll be fine. Just follow me. We can escape from up top instead. First bit, these magic techniques, your MP. Hold L1. Okay. I'm feeling it. Here we go. Save points. Yeah, of course, everybody knows about save points. And of course, the stream has to pause when I save because I don't know why there's no information there to actually say, oh, look, we can't share this. It's just a save screen. This is our escape route? Right. See how the walls crumbled over there? We can climb down and get out of here. They've reached the top! Don't let them escape! But those guards will be here any moment. They'll just catch us while we're climbing. <clears throat> they would, if it was just the two of us. If we didn't have backup. Come on, Dragoneer. Hurry it up. This is your cue.
The hour is upon us. Sonya must be in position by now. Then it is my turn to fight. A suitable diversion should be enough to ensure their escape. Halt! Identify yourself! I am a Dragoneer of Wellant. Perhaps you understand what that means? Wellant? Then she's the one. She wiped out the South 7th Legion all on her own! I can't say I recall. It certainly sounds like something I might have done. What business does a Dragoneer have with us? I only ask that you let me pass. Don't be ridiculous! You think we'd just let you in? If you choose violence, I must respond in kind. But your passing will not go unmourned. Through my Requiem, your soul will find peace. I am Kirika Toa Alma, Diva Magica and inheritor of the Rune Songs of Nature. Fit me! The intruder! We're under attack! No sign of Sonia. This is no simple delay. Has she abandoned the front gate? Perhaps she's chosen the secondary plan. Storming the gates will do me no good. I'll have to find a different route to the rendezvous. is dire indeed. I know. I'll probably just get captured again. Why do you not draw your sword? You are more than capable of defending yourself. No, I... I can't. I'd rather just go back to my cell. Don't you want to escape? I do, but... if it means I have to use that power... I... I can't. They'd lock me up, but they wouldn't kill me. I just have to let them experiment on me. It's just pain. I'm used to pain. Yeah, if I can just endure it, then... There she is! That's the Astoria hey. Knight! You okay? Huh? What's wrong? I thought I lost you for a second there. No, it's nothing. But the guard... I know. But if we can hold on a little longer, my friend will come back us up. I'll keep you safe until then. Don't worry. Right. Thank you, Miss Sonia. I'm no miss. Just call me Sonia. Oh, okay. So... Wait. wait. Something, Something about, about this feels... so, so nostalgic, nostalgic somehow. somehow. Uh, what? what? Was, was that? that? Yuma, watch out! Get back! R right. Yuma, are you truly satisfied? Would you stand back without a word of objection and watch her fight for your sake? What are you trying to say? You are dead weight. A spectator, a useless piece upon the board of battle. 
I ask again, can you accept this? You are no younger, no less capable than she is. Yet when she raises her blade, you hesitate and watch. Yuma, does this not pain you? No, I... Of course I feel bad. What am I supposed to do? You're telling me to use your power? I told you I can't do that! It is not my power I am advising you to wield. You sealed that blade within yourself, and it is high time you used it. But if I draw that sword... Do you not long for that power? Do you not wish to fight at her side? <sighs> Fine, Dragon. I don't like it, but you're right. It's time for me to fight. So, Vandalhorn, Dragon Resonator, I release thy bonds! Let this blade howl with the pulse of Dragonkind! This is my body and soul. This is Dragon Incarnate. Now, show them the might of Vandalhorn, the Dragon Resonator! Just this once. This is the last time I draw this sword. And I won't. Yuma? Sonya, I can fight too. Alright. Uh, possesses high damage, wide range attacks, great lunge dash, one knockdown, enemy defenses. This experience actually bounces up after I've done this tutorial. <sighs> Yuma. What? That song? Who's singing? My first party member after I've done this. Who's that? She's... Damn, that's a loud roar on the headset. <sighs> Is that one of the Empire's Draco Machina? Thank you, Trishula. That's Trishula? Then you're the Imperial Dragonair Princess, Excella. Indeed. Of course. That dragon's one of the three spears of the Imperial Princess. I suppose it makes sense their mistress wouldn't be far. But why are you in Alpine? Because I am in Sword Art Online. To humble those who would stand against the Empire, Knight of Astoria. <clears throat> hey, Yuma. Stay close to me no matter what. And on my signal, just run as fast as you can. What? Just trust me, okay? O okay. Hmm. Trishula, I leave them to you. Have at them. Of course. How about me? Hmm? Trishula, wait. What? Huh? 
Is that... Finally! She's here! <laughs> Impressive indeed, to block an arrow in flight. Hey, Kirika! A little late, don't you think? Oh, I love the music background. I am Kirika Toa Alma, Dragoneer of Wellant, Diva Magica, and inheritor of the rune songs from the dragons of old. I'm glad you finally showed up. I thought we were finished. And rightly so. Few could stand against a Draco Machina, even without an Imperial Dragoneer commanding it. Her name is Kirika? <sighs> it's. it's happening again is something wrong no i'm fine i'm fine my the original diva magica in the flesh an intriguing development then let me see your power firsthand trishula take them Puritan, can we handle this i cannot say but we must try we must save the shining dragon no matter the cost As soon as you hit the enemy, break points, mobile, break. Uh, you can see how close shots break him. Yep. <laughs> Is bloody loud. Well, I'll have to turn sound effects down a bit. I had imagined the original Diva Magica's power would be more impressive somehow. It appears I was wrong. Well, she died. It will be more than enough to strike you down. <laughs> really? A bold claim. Shall we test it? <laughs> I can't move. <laughs> What's wrong? Standing still, even on a battlefield like this, it's as if you're inviting my lance. Kirika! I think not. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? I'm waiting. I can't move. Are you all truly so helpless? Perhaps you were weaker than I thought. Weak? Don't give me that. We already put down your dragon. What does that make you? Pardon? You believe you fell, Trishula? Uh <laughs> What's so funny? You have barely seen a fraction of Trishula's might. Rise, my dragon. I shall grant you power anew. It's... coming back to life? <laughs> that resonance... is that her harmonic? Now you see. Dragon and harmonic, uniting to grant each other supreme power. That is the true might of a Dragoneer. Then... we'll just beat it down again! I see you are persistent, if nothing else. But you forget one crucial detail. 
There are three spears under my command, and Trishula is but one. Hardly worth the effort. They were so intent on rescuing this boy. Who is he? Your Highness, are you all right? Yes, perfectly fine. Seize them. Yes, Your Highness. <sighs> They're taking me back, but I can't stop them. I didn't want to escape anyway. Just have to say it. Quiet. Indeed. Perhaps you will return to your prison. Perhaps the experiments will continue. But what of the girls? What do you mean? Your would-be rescuers are of no use to the Empire. There would be no point in subjecting them to the same trials. After you have been taken away, whether by the soldier's hand or the Draco Machina, these two will die. No! Damn it, I have to do something! But what can I do? Need you ask? You know exactly what you can do. The power of the dragon? No! If I use that, then... Refuse, if you wish. That is your choice. What does it matter to me if two reckless girls meet their ends? It sounds like you feel the same, Yuma. No, of course not! I can't just abandon them! What is that? to get on? All right. <laughs> My apologies, Your Radiance. Trishula, Gable, Gugnir! Don't let that dragon escape. After it! If you command, but at great risk. How so? That was the Shining Dragon, our nemesis. He who fought us in the fires of Ragnarok. If we are to face him again, we must prepare for the worst. The Shining Dragon. Its power is legend. Our records say it was the greatest of the world dragons. Then no. I rescind my order. I'll not risk your lives in a reckless charge. We will strike when we are better prepared. Still, I never imagined Alfheim would present such revelations so soon. The question is, is this an omen of our fortune or our doom?
Long ago, the people spoke of a sacred island, a sea-bound holy land where Deus dwelled, Alfheim. Since time immemorial, the high elves of this island lived in peace with dragons, using mystic rune songs to commune with their mighty allies. Yet, this peace did not last. Deus, a force more powerful than any dragon, looked upon this world with disdain, and sought to build a new world atop the old. High Elves, who were loyal to the dragons, did battle with their kin, who stood beside Deus. Chaos, suffering, war spread forth from the Holy Land, a shadow to cover the entire world. After centuries of carnage, the dragons finally claimed victory and sealed Deus away. The war had been won, but at what cost? The battle had exacted a terrible price upon their kind, and few remained. Ages of war had left Alfheim a barren wasteland, and those elves who fought for the dragons left their home to seek peace in a new life on the mainland. In the thousand years since that war's end, it came to be known as Ragnarok. Over the long years that followed, life slowly returned to Alfheim, the land darkened by war grew bright again, and humans soon came to settle in its newly fertile fields. These immigrants founded the Kingdom of Astoria, and its dominion grew to span all of Alfheim. However, ten years ago the trumpets of war sounded across the sea once again, and Alfheim was invaded by the largest nation of the mainland, the Lombardian Empire. This peaceful island was once again plunged into the fires of war. The Knights of Astoria fought bravely, but the Empire's strength was overwhelming. The defenders lost more and more ground by the day, until over half the land was under Lombardian control. Yet, Astoria managed to push them to a stalemate, thanks to the military support of the elven kingdom of Welland, denizens of the mainland, and neighbor to the Empire. Astoria held a key to victory, their famed Dragoneers, warriors who wield harmonics, instruments gifted to mortals long ago by a dragon of old. That dragon, he who forged the harmonics from his own body <coughs> and granted those blessings unto mortals, was the almighty Shining Dragon, the same creature who now inhabits the body of a boy named Yuma. It is here and now, as the Shining Dragon soars through Astorian skies, that our story begins. Yep, save. Toot of the Dragon Ears. Your Highness, this is unexpected. Had I been made aware of your arrival, I would have mustered the troops for inspection. I'm not here to inspect your men. I see. Then to what do we owe the honor? How long have military operations in Alfheim gone on, Melchior? Eight? No, nine years? ...wishes to convey his impatience. He desires results. To that end, I come bearing the burden of command. By the Emperor's will, the invasion of Alfheim continues under my supreme authority. Your Beowulf now obeys me. I'll hear objections. I have none, Your Highness. We of Beowulf, the Knight Sanguine, 
have thus far failed in delivering our Emperor his conquest. If his majesty has seen fit to grant us a second chance, though undeserving, we humbly accept. Enough then. Let's not speak of apologies and humility. Instead, let us speak of plans. As I transition into my new role as commander, I admit confusion on a matter I'd like explained. This boy, the alleged bearer of the Shining Dragon, I've reviewed all your compiled intelligence, and yet, not one report in the lot mentioned the dragon at all. Not even in passing. Explain this to me. We judge that information unfit to be reported on, Your Highness. Not worth reporting? Surely I misheard. The mightiest of his kin, a legend amongst even other dragons. You mean to tell me the discovery of the Shining Dragon himself doesn't even deserve a footnote? Perhaps it's best I let the man I assigned to it explain. Joachim? Yes, yes, a perfectly understandable query. We heard rumors the child possessed the Shining Dragon, so we acquired him, yes. We've since spent a great deal of time observing his growth, but sadly we were unable to detect the Shining Dragon's energy signature. He still was able to channel pure dragon energy on his own, however. I was in the midst of running tests for that at the time. So hopefully it's clear why we chose as we did. The official reports are reserved for confirmed, verified intelligence only. Hmm. I see. I'll remember your discretion as I conduct my new duties. Still, the Shining Dragon. Can this power of mine tame even you, I wonder? Hey, we talking about the Shining Dragon in here? Like the special mythical one? Is he really all that? Hmm? Zest, you're late. Care to explain yourself and show some respect? I'll not tolerate your lip in the presence of Her Highness. Already crawling up my back, Georg? I'm not gonna be rude. Promise. Hey, Princess. You brought your Draco Machina with you, right? So between them and the Shining Dragon, who do you think is stronger, huh? Between the Shining Dragon and my three spears? I cannot say. He fled before any true test of strength could be had. But the spears have already communed with me on this matter. They prescribe caution in dealing with him. Nothing more. I see. So he might actually be fun to play around with, is what you're saying. Like if your big fancy machina aren't up to snuff. Zest! I told you to mind your tongue! What? Just calling it like I see it. Zest! Fine, fine, I'll just go. Georg, who was that man? Ah, uh, oh, Zest. Yes, my strongest lieutenant. Strongest of all the Knights Sanguine, in fact. I see. Less fortunately, he has a certain temperament. As his captain, I regret to report his mood swings are... difficult to work around. Hmm. I thought I felt a measure of power in him. If he's as unruly as you say, that is misfortunate. Well, no matter. I have concluded my business here for the day. We'll continue planning on the morrow. Thy will be done, Highness. Before you go, though, Beatrice? Standing by, sir. I couldn't help but notice you didn't bring your retainers, Highness. Please, I would have you employ Beatrice instead. You'll find her capable. My name is Beatrice. It will, of course, be my pleasure to serve your Highness. A bender of shadow? How fascinating. Very well, Beatrice. You may accompany me for the duration. Thy will be done. With me, then. Let's be off. Let me guess, before you start. Don't leave her side for even a moment, and make sure her every need is seen to. Something like that? Something like that. Ooh, I don't trust you.
it still hurt? You're safe now. I promise. What's going on? Hey, no moving! Stop! You'll reopen your wounds! I see. I'm having... a dream? Which means this is... back then. Please! I know it hurts, but you can't move! Oh... No, no, no! If you're in that much pain... Oh, I know! I'll cast a spell to numb the pain, alright? Just hold still a moment longer. Here goes. Ready? That's right. I remember now. That girl, she... That girl. Her name, why can't I... Remember? Radiance, you're awake. W where You're in Marga, your Radiance. The royal capital of Astoria. I see. And you're a... Kirika, right? Kirika Toa Alma of Wellant. I'm also known as the Diva Magica. Please, call me Kirika, your Radiance. Alright, Kirika. Nice to meet you. Diva like a singer, right? That song before. Just what is a Diva Magica? Oh, originally we were translators, I suppose. Divas once acted as bridges between men and dragons, communicating will and whim. When dragons still roamed the world, there was peace. They spoke to us, taught us, sang to us in their ancient rune songs. Though the dragons are gone now, and the skies over Alfheim are empty, we Divas still play the songs in remembrance. A new Diva Magica begins training from a very early age, not just to master rune songs, but draconic lore, historical texts. That's how it was for me, anyway. I applied myself to my training, but it always felt... off. Empty. But then I met you, your Radiance. I always knew you returned to us. That's why I've been studying, playing my heart out, and... and now you're really here! Uh, my apologies, your Radiance. I allowed zeal to overcome me. Please, if I may serve you in any capacity, only say so. Uh, okay. Kirika, you know I'm not actually the Shining Dragon, right? My name is... I understand, Master Yuma. Perhaps not in fleshly form, but in spirit, you are the Shining Dragon. Okay, I'm the Shining Dragon. We'll go with that. Honestly, Honestly I'm, I'm just, just glad, glad to have someone, someone looking after me. Good morning, Kirika. How's he doing? Oh... Oh, he's awake? Mom! Mom! And that was Primula. Her mother, Emma, runs this place. Ah, uh, the Seagull Inn, I should say. Mom, look! Oh my! Good to see your eyes open, dear. You gave us quite the fright when you wouldn't wake up, you know. I... I did? Um, thank you for looking after me, ma'am. Breakfast is ready, so why don't you come down and put something in your stomach? Oh, and the princess is here. Best not make her wait. The princess? In time, your radiance. I think you'll understand after you two have spoken. Hey, good morning. You had a rough night. Were you able to rest up? Hmm. What's wrong? You seem confused. I, uh... She said I was supposed to be meeting a princess down here. So, does that mean... A prin... Oh, for the love of... Hey, Emma. I told you not to call me princess in town. Hmm? Oh, right. I forgot. Sorry, dear. Hold on. Y you're... No way. You're a princess? Uh, what? Like it's that hard to believe? Here. Why don't you let me introduce myself? Sonia Blanche, Crown Princess of Astoria and firstborn to the royal family. Pleased to meet you. M my name is Yuma Ilvern, Your Highness. I it's a profound honor to meet you. Hey, nah, -uh. none of that. No highnesses. Just call me Sonia, okay? Y you got it. But uh, what's the Crown Princess kicking around a regular old inn for? Well, excuse us for being regular and old. 
We're the top inn in the city, thank you. And we've even got Dragoneer staying here. <laughs> Easy now, Primula. But she's right. I live here as the Dragoneer's caretaker. Dragoneers? That's what Excella and Kirika are, right? Are you a Dragoneer too? Uh, no. Not personally. It's more like I'm in training to become one. Something like that, anyway. So, um, Yuma, weird question, but can we talk about your plans from here on? Your future? Sonia, I think it would be better if the king explained. We should escort his radiance to the castle before anything else. You're right. Can you come with us for a bit, Yuma? I'm a little uneasy about all this royalty stuff, but it's not like I can refuse the people seeing to my every need. Okay, wherever you want to go, point the way. Hmm, so these traits actually are the only the last two sync. Oh no. No plane yet. <laughs> Welcome, Sir Yuma. I am Albert, King of Astoria. Thank you for making the journey to my humble hall. Y yes, sir. Oh come, Sir Yuma. No need to be so stiff. Actually, if I may call you simply Yuma? Sure, that that's fine, um, sir. Very good. Now, Yuma, I'm sure you have some guesses as to why you're here. The, um, the Shining Dragon, right? Then we're all on the same page. That's the short version, yes. However, let me first assure you of your freedom in this hall. Unlike the Empire, I have no intention of holding you against your will. You alone will choose whether to lend us your aid, and you alone will decide what shape that aid takes. That being said, if I may be so presumptuous, I would ask you for a particular kind of aid. The Shining Dragons, if it's yours to give. For nearly a decade now, Astoria has slowly bent and buckled under the Empire's boot heel. We're locked in a bad stalemate, to be frank with you. Marga's fortifications have seen that it remains standing for now. But we cannot place our faith in the walls forever. Then there are refugees fleeing occupied lands, and the poor souls left behind. They are my subjects, and I their king. I am duty-bound to protect them. I understand. I've seen the Empire do some terrible things out there. When I was at Galeritz, I saw... cruelty. All kinds of inhumane experiments. Will you help us? With the Shining Dragon's power, Alfheim could be free of Imperial influence. I want to stop them too, I really do. But I can't use the Shining Dragon's power to do it. It... it's too... To what? It's not like he's evil. He helped me and Kirika, remember? No, no, not evil. It's more like... Ugh! Then make a decision, why don't you? What does his power even mean to you, huh? It, uh... W well... Answer me! This is all about you, so why don't you say something? Damn, girl, he's trying to say something. You keep interrupting him. Uh, if you've come this far just to clam up, ugh, I don't understand you. Sonia, enough. Yuma can hardly make his own decisions when you lay the pressure on so thick. What? No, uh, I didn't mean... Uh, no, I'm sorry, Yuma. None of that was right of me to say. Please excuse my display. You know I don't mean to embarrass you in your own hall, Father. And Yuma, can you forgive me? I know you have your reasons, so if you don't want to use your power... No, it's okay. I should be the one apologizing. Hmm. In the end, the fault lies with me, I think. You did, after all, just escape from Imperial Prison. Perhaps I was wrong to push for answers when you've been left with only questions. Shall we take a break for now? A moment to think with clear heads would do us all well. You are dismissed, Yuma. Please, take whatever time you need, see the city, and return with your decision once you've made it. Yes, if you say so, your majesty. Alright, move around a bit, go and make use, see my traits. Oh yeah, oh. Sorry about that, I can be a short tempered sometimes. About the Shining Dragon, it's really up to you. Okay, but what about the War of the Empire? Do, uh, oh, don't worry about that. We find me growing some footing. 
the amount of face, oh I know, I'll show you around the city you are. Show me around, huh? Uh, that would be great. I've never been in such a big city before, so I'd love to check it out. Alright, let's go. Okay, so the capital. Uh, episode's capital, home to many people, the king's castle rests in the centre. You can make use of facilities and interact with citizens. Wow, she looks like Magargo from Taz Mysteria. Okay, so main event stories is double exclamation points. That's good to know. So, so, so there's my DLC character, well, refrain character. Wow, there's a lot of outfits. So there's some suits. Alright, I heard there'll be traits connected to these. So. Stats. Ah, oh, so that's the traits. Can I change them? Nope. Best way to go is this way. Oh my god, there's actually a wrong button in the cities. Oh, hi. <laughs> well, hello to you too. She's the old potions and that. Cool. Well, merchant buyer saying items, you need gold to buy items. Gold can be attained by defeating monsters. Saying items, make sure you pay J and Charles around the Alpha Elm. Oh, actually. Oh, shop my console. Uh, shops. Okay. Since this has all DLC, is there DLC weapons? No, go now. Can you change weapons at all? Oh, forces. You set up force abilities, combat, press square to switch screens so you can see the forces. Alright. Two, 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 three, three. Okay. Actually, you know what? I'm going to change him out for her because I've always seen what she has. I haven't seen what he has yet. Sometimes you have a conversation with your friends and a selection will appear, choosing how you will reply. Depending on your selection and affection, your comrades will change. You should think about their personality behaviours when replying. Letting the timer out is an awesome option. The communication and affection changes during the events with, uh, with them as the bow goes. Okay. Your radiance is something you require of me. What's so famous? I know I can romance, but I... Hi. My apologies. The question I understand. Uh oh. I want to romance this character. Just a pinch of oops. Did you put more than a pinch in, young man? Ah, 
Oh, so you get weapons from him. Uh, with Arch Synergy, okay, that's good. With Aspect Synergy, we will create Aspect pieces that will come in handy in battle. Okay, uh, face that. Oh, you're the, hey, you're the honest type, huh? I like you. You can have this. Just a pinch of oops. Oh. Here we've got one little. What is it? Oh! There you go. Okay, so the way to boost up your stuff increases my health. So we'll have one for her. Just a pinch of welcome. Oops. What are we making? Healing mint and water. What are we making? So uh, that'll definitely increase my power. Right? See you around. I didn't check the other one to Victoria. Welcome. Take your pick. Have a nice day. I'm bored. Oh, well, excuse me, Princess, if you're bored. <coughs> oh, welcome back. There's someone here to see you. Uncle Burroughs, this is the boy I was talking about. Ah, about time. You're our dragon boy, then. The king filled me in. Call me Burroughs. How are you holding up? Hi. It's, uh, nice to meet you. Oh, forgive me, Yuma. I should have mentioned. This is Burroughs, captain of the Knights of Astoria and an old family friend. Captain, if you're making a visit to the Seagull, that must mean you've got work for the Dragoneers, right? Right you are, my lady. A hunting contract. Seems something big is out terrorizing folk beyond the walls. What, a monster? More than your knights can handle if you're asking for a Dragoneer to deal with it. Well, the Knights of Astoria... See, we've got our hands full with something else right now, so... I see. By all means, then, let's petition the Dragoneers! Hey, Sonia. There are other Dragoneers besides Kirika staying here, right? Three of them, all told, yeah. Kirika and two others all use the Seagull Inn as their base of operations. And when the throne doesn't have official contracts to offer, they go around assisting the people of Marga instead. There's not a soul in Marga who can't tell you a story about a stout-hearted dragoneer. You can always rely on them. 
Astoria owes generations of peace and comfort to their protection. By playing their harmonics, they can channel special magic and perform feats far beyond other people. All to keep the peace, of course. Harmonics? Is that what you call those instrument weapon things Kirika and Excella were using? Mm-hmm. Long ago, the Shining Dragon inside you gifted them to the Ancients so they could protect themselves. There are supposedly seven harmonic armaments in all, three of which are here in Astoria. The Elves of Wellant have another three. And the last one's in the care of that Imperial Princess. Wellant? Oh, but isn't that Kirika's homeland? What's she doing fighting for Astoria instead? Well, Astoria and Wellantine relations are peaceful. The Elves' ancestors lived here a long time ago, so we've been allies for generations. Okay, just around the caretaker for him, Drake. <clears throat> At any rate, I should go and see about this something big. You stay here where it's safe, Yuma. You're going all by yourself? I can't just demand a Dragoneer's time without doing any scouting first, now can I? It's my duty to aid them in my father's place, you know. Be that as it may, my lady. Maybe... Me? <laughs> don't worry, Captain Burroughs. It's just a scouting op. You don't have to be so protective. Uh... Emma, could you make Yuma some tea? I'll be back before it's cold. Ah, my lady, wait! And she's gone. Emma, why didn't you stop her? Now I have to figure my plans out all over again. Plans? What in the world are you talking about? Uh, nothing. Yeah, I didn't say a thing. <clears throat> Not very subtle, are you? Now, how to fix this? Hey, Yuma! Little coward! Are you letting the princess totter off into danger all on her own? Huh? B but she said she was just scouting, so... No excuses! Get after her right now, boy! Hop to! Wait, why? Why do I have to do this? I do as he says, Your Radiance. Sir Burroughs is a very stubborn man. Arguing will only make him grumpier. <sighs> fine, fine, I'll go. I'm going. Allow me to accompany you, Your Radiance. If we hurry, we should be able to catch up before Sonya reaches the gates. Press an R2. Okay. Ah, now I can find train for prawns. The characteristics for each character. You can change them on the diagram. Characters is next to each other. Prawn diagram will be different prawns depending on character traits. Tough prawns is its strength greatly creates resonance to courage in battle. Self trait is the way you, you like and create your own dragon and own bond. Now that is so much easier just to press one button to get to your quest menu. So, so get the bonds. Good friends, the town arrival. Dragon story days. Okay. So it should be this one, I think. Excuse me. You're excused. Kirka, Yuma, what's you, what's up? Uh, well, stuff happened, so yeah, we're here. I'm here, thanks you two. Well, I don't think it's anything we should be thanked for, huh? What's wrong, Yuma? Ooh, big tower. Nothing, you just noticed that strange tower over there, so I was wondering what it is. Oh, that's people called the Unreachable Tower. Nothing is unreachable in RPGs, unless it's completely off the map. Unreachable tower, huh? Yep, no matter how fast you walk, or how hard 
your, your horse is run, it's no use. You can't get close to it, at least that's what people always say. I see, what an interesting tower. I bet you that's probably going to be part of the story or the very last area of the game. Oh yeah, take this, you Oh, like that. Yep, the scene marker's, marker's new. Oh yeah, everybody knows about the map. Well, I can map should tell you where you are and where you need to go. Don't be afraid to check it when you need to. Okay. I think you're ready now. Let's go. Oh, I've never seen this before. Some characters in conversation with the field. Various interactions take place, including small talk and advice regarding your current objectives. Depending on the message you correspond to, so yes or no. Okay, so let's have a world map. So you've got to go right this way. Is there any way to. What's this? Oh. Alright! Enemy approaching! On guard! I know how to fight you, right? Shall I help you? Don't underestimate me. Okay, during combat, an ally triggers instant resonance. Care to resonance who support the player in the first place. Then the support the player will change pain on the bonds of the sets. The strong girl of the character bonds will likely resonance. Can you take this? I'll show you my power. You cannot endure! Come! Oh, right. that laugh they have. Oh, they're all sick, so I wonder what's fucked up. How's that? I'll show you my power. I got him! Go! I'm not trying to escape battle. Oh, I was wondering what that noise was my headset. I might take you out of my party. Just because of that one move. Oh! We've been spotted! Giant red chicken! We've been spotted. I shall be your opponent. Okay, she's she's dropping you can use her garret to control the pretty. I'll try and go. Use a headset with that move, it's my job. Come to me. So let's see on Step charge. I'm feeling it. Despair. No escape. 
Okay, she seems all right. I will see justice done. All right, let's party. Change up. Should be the way to go. Yep. We've been spotted. To me. This is it! Be gone! Heavens have mercy! Be gone! This is it! How's this? I can do this! Oh wow, these are tanky. Take this! This is it! Oh, a double break. I got him! A glorious victory! I shall be a true Diva Magica! Come at me! Oh, risky. A risk count occurs, the enemies uh, share stats fast. Wait, it wasn't behind me, I was behind it, was I? So in this game, unlike others, where you turn around or they're fully around you, you're stunned for about five seconds. How's that? I'm feeling it. Yeah. Hmm. That's something different. That's what we're gonna say. Right. Let's put you in back in front. Now let's try the Shining Dragon. Ooh. When Numa reaches the power, of the, release the power of the Shining Dragon, you can perform a Dragon Shift. When the Shining Numa holds L1 and press R1 to transform into Dragon, in addition to the increased power, Dragon Shifting also increases. Oh, nice. Dragon Tower's attack, so holds to angle and also dash attack and backs up his square. Attraction to Shining Dragon is not just in AP, also his strength abilities his dragon in it and battle with him. Nice. Get, let me fight. I'll enjoy you. Don't get in my way. With you, don't underestimate me. Oh. Going berserk. If you try to perform an action when the MP is low or full depleted, the Shine Dragon may go berserk. In addition to uh, sending out various effects of both allies and enemies, he will also lose control and go on a rampage. When dragon shifts keep, uh, when dragon shifts to keep track of your MP and avoid going yeah, berserk. Yeah. 
With your powers. Oh wow! With you it goes down when you're in drone shift off. Yeah. Damn it! I should get more experience. And I've got a dead princess on my team. <sighs> Looks like the coast is clear. Looks that way. Thank you, Yuma. You were a big help. Let's go report back to Burroughs now. There's no need to return to town. We can give our report right here, actually. Ah, I've been made, eh? Captain Burroughs, what are you doing here? Begging your forgiveness, my lady. Killing monsters wasn't the only thing you were doing out here. I wanted to see Yuma and the Shining Dragon in a real fight, you understand? I see. That's why you were so adamant about this. Yep. Figured a monster sighting was as good a chance as I was gonna get. I suspected as much. Captain Burroughs, don't you think that's extremely unfair to Yuma? You tell him too, Kirika, how it's an affront to the Shining Dragon's honor or, or something. That may be so, but his radiance has blessed us with his sublime presence, his holy splendor. I knew of Sir Burroughs' plan, but said nothing so that I might lay eyes on his radiance again. Damn it, Kirika. I was going to romance you in this game. I'm not certain I have any place chastising the good captain for his actions. Lay eyes on... Whatever. Fine. Fine. We'll talk about it later. Let's just head back to the castle for now, okay? And I'll be sure to mention it to my father. How bravely you fought alongside us, Yuma. Yeah. Oh crap, she's dead. Alright, is there any way to like I'm so used to trying to be a menu. I don't want to attack anything because I want her to have some experience as well. Enemy Excuse me, chicken. I'll take that. All right. Oh, a hillman talking like a potion. We've been spotted. Wait, you went level seven when I came through first time. Yeah. Alright. Uh, uh, over it. How's it going? Welcome! Oh, it's going good. I've got a dead princess, but other than that, what are we making? Good. Oh, I didn't get any water. Let's talk. Hey Yuma, what what would it be? Well, today I'm going to need. Hey Yuma, wait! I said wait. Huh? Prima, what's she doing here? Prima, sorry, I didn't hear you. You calling me? Must have been. Must have been a bird distracting me. Or what's up? I keep shouting your name. You didn't hear me at all. And what? <laughs> and now you're making me come in a place like this. Ugh. A place like this? What's that supposed to mean? Huh? It's not like I want to see you around. Don't tell me this little kid he's gonna be a sooner because I know he likes her. Is that way to pass for a customer service voice here then, huh? As an actually service industry worker? I'm offended. Hey you man. Let's go home and get dinner. Forget this place. I'll make you whatever you want. Haha. <laughs> 
I need to get some things for repel first. Primal. Can you go? Uh, can you go home and get started with that? But I hear that kids should stay at home and let the adults do. What. You are not an adult. Oh, you, I hate you. Yeah. You really shouldn't say that kind of stuff to her, you know. It's not okay. Hey, you, can I ask you a question? Huh? What's up? Well, uh, what do you think of Prima? What do I think of her? I mean, she's Emma's daughter. She helped run the inn. I'm not sure what you're looking for here. No, I mean, what do you, you know, like? Huh? Like? Of course, like Prima. Oh, but there's a huge age difference. <laughs> oh, not like that. Uh, that's not a big deal. She's fun to have around. Um, I like her. I like her a lot, actually. You like Prima a lot? You remember Prima? You remember? Prima? She's eating cooks meal for him. No way. She has it together, cooking, cleaning, winding the inn. I hope whenever she ends, whoever she ends up marrying, appreciates that. Yeah, yeah, with those homemaking skills, she went good. Wait, whoever she ends up marrying? I thought you were eyeing her. What, Mary? No! <laughs> no, there's a huge age difference between us. Oh, then it's Prima. That's crazy. Hmm. I think she's like a sister, yeah, it must be. What having a little sister feels like. Sister? So you're not married? More point, Bill. There's something I want to you to. Oh, sister, I get it. Yeah, you're a real good brother. You are the best. Right then, what do you say today? You know, big sale, discount on everything. Take my whole back catalogue, you thief. Oh God, he's gonna be a flipping swindler, isn't he? How's it going? Right, do these have any dialogue? Okay, no, not yet. Oh, hi, welcome. Take your pick. Uh, okay, so. Take your pick. I want my This one. Boost. Thanks. Have a nice day. Yeah, you're. Yeah. You need to cheer up a tiny bit, okay? Oh? Wow, she's tiny.
هاي صح حتى بعد تسيئين من غير أرفوتس الكاسل بي كيرفو، ويلكم باك جد سم راست اوكي enough for today I might play a bit more later but not on stream I'll just go back outside if I can and do a bit of grinding but uh, thank you for everybody who's here who watched I appreciate it bye